Engine oil additives are compounds dissolved or suspended as solids in oil. These additives typically account for 10 to 30 percent of the oil volume. Additives perform the following functions. Enhance base oil properties, suppress undesirable base oil properties, and impart new properties to base oils. Zinc, or ZDDP, is arguably the most well-known anti-wear additive. AW additives are used to protect lubricated surfaces from metal-to-metal -metal contact under extreme conditions. These conditions are often referred to as boundary lubrication, when lubricating surfaces contain an undesirably thin film of lubricant. AW additives are activated by heat and react chemically with metal surfaces when metal-to-metal -metal contact occurs. In those conditions, AW additives like zinc form a film that minimizes wear. These additives are considered sacrificial, meaning they are consumed, depleted, and can no longer be effective. Viscosity index improvers are polymer additives used to prevent the oil from becoming excessively thin as oil temperature increases. When heated, these polymers expand to increase viscosity. Multigrade oils exist because of VI improvers. For example, 10W30 contains no 30 weight oil. VI improvers are used to create a 10 weight oil with a viscosity of 30 weight when measured at 212 degrees. Engine oil is thicker when cold and becomes thinner as it heats up. A straight 30 and 10W30 will have the same viscosity when measured at 212 degrees, but the 10W30 will be thinner when cold. Engine oil detergents prevent hot engine components from accumulating deposits and neutralize acids that form an oil. They provide new oil with a reserve alkalinity referred to as a base number. The base number of new oil ranges from 5 to 15. A base number below 3 indicates an oil change is necessary. Detergents are usually made of metallic compounds such as calcium, magnesium, or barium. When oil is burned, these metallic compounds leave behind ash deposits. Excess deposits can form in high temperature conditions, thus the need for formulation-specific low-ash oils. Dispersants are non-metallic organic chemicals designed to suspend contaminants in the engine oil. If large enough, these contaminants can be caught by the oil filter. If too small to be filtered, the dispersants need to keep the contaminants suspended in oil to prevent sludge from accumulating in the engine. Anti-foam and air release agents prevent the oil from becoming excessively aerated and foaming. Splash lubricated engines are more susceptible to foaming because of oil agitation. Engines using hydraulic lifters are vulnerable to air encapsulation. Think of bubbles in the oil that become trapped in hydraulic lifters, preventing them from pumping up. Different oil viscosities and formulations require different amounts of these additives. Thicker oil makes stronger bubbles, and engines without hydraulic lifters aren't as likely to be affected by bubbles in the oil. There are many other common oil additives, such as oxidation and corrosion inhibitors and pore point depressants. For the most part, these additives function as their names suggest. Did you know a conventional oil can outperform a synthetic because of the additive package? It's true, and an example of this is comparing a PCMO synthetic to a small engine oil formulation. The PCMO synthetic is an excellent performing lubricant for automobiles, but is not formulated for the needs of a small engine. Did you know more of any one additive isn't necessarily better? Adding anti-wear additives like zinc may seem like a good idea, but too much can actually reduce or reverse its effectiveness. Did you know some additives can settle out of the oil? Some additives can even be captured by the oil filter, especially if the wrong oil and filter combination is used. Oil contamination by water or fuel can cause additives to separate from the oil, and mixing incompatible lubricants can cause adverse additive reaction. Even prolonged storage or inactivity can cause additives to settle. This is why some believe all bottles should be shaken before use. And believe it or not, this is actually a common online debate. Oil formulation is a complicated mixture of balanced chemicals. This is why it's really important to not mix different oils and additives.